We have a Frigidaire professional coffee maker. We had an overflow recently and when we went to make coffee again all it was doing was making steam and wasn't drawing water into the reservoir. As you can see when we plug it in the uh, display comes on, the various electronics and things seem to be working but as I said when we went to make coffee all it was doing was making steam. The tools you need for this are really very simple. A Phillips screwdriver, a spanner bit or a spanner screwdriver which um, opens a couple of the screws and a pair of pliers to just help to open a couple of clamps. After drying it out and unplugging it I had to remove six screws. There are four screws that are underneath these little rubber feet that need to be carefully removed. I actually ripped one as I was taking them out. These are small Phillips screws but over here are what are called spanner screws and I don't know if I can get this very clearly on the video but these spanner screws have little notches in them and you need a special screwdriver. Let me see if I can get this um, a little better into the, the image for you. You need a special screwdriver like this. I got this at a, lo at a, at a local uh, hardware store in, a, in an electronics kit to remo remove those two screws. So I took those two off and then can remove the back. And there you see the, um, the heating element here. And then where I think the issue is here where the water gets uh, gets drawn through and then put the heated water goes up into the coffee maker to go onto the grounds. So I'm going to work on removing this hose here, taking off these clamps and this clamp back up here if you can see that and see if I can find where the problem is at. So here's the hose that I removed from there. This is the uh, that pulls the um, water uh, from the reservoir into the heating element. Um, and what I did is I just put it into some soapy water and as you can see here's the remnants. You can see all of the coffee grounds that were stuck in there and have since been cleaned out. So now if you can hear that there's a little ball valve in there that keeps the water just letting it go one way and not go back. And one thing you need to do is make sure that when you reinstall this you reinstall it the right way so the water comes down into the heating element. Best way to test that is to just run it under some water and figure out which way the water is being let through and which way it is not. So I have this reinstalled now. It was a little bit difficult getting this um, back hose on. It's a plastic piece that you're shoving the hose over. You could probably use a little bit of soap and if you're having trouble with these clamps you just need to grab these little rabbit ears and squeeze them. That opens it up and lets you slide that clamp onto the piece. So everything is hooked back up right now. I'm going to put the bottom back on with those six screws and see if this works. So I poured some water into the reservoir, about six cups worth. Hopefully you can hear it gurgling away there. If I go over to the side to the water reservoir, I can see the water coming down, meaning the water is being drawn um, from the reservoir through the heating element and then um, back over the coffee beans. And we should be set to make coffee. Hope this helps. It was uh, great for me to learn uh, and hope it helps some of you out there as well. Bye now.